Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Now, one of the areas that Sri Lanka is failing is its foreign policy and more importantly, understanding global threats that are coming into the country under the guise of supporting Sri Lanka. The prime example is what happened last year with the so-called Aragalaya. We are now learning that geopolitics played a key role in the Aragalaya to steer Sri Lanka from Chinese influence to the Americans and the collective West. I mean, take a look at this picture. Need I say more? Now, despite whatever we say right now, our foreign policy, which was under the Rajapaksa regime's allegiance to the East, has successfully been changed to the West. Let's bring in Dr. John Harrison, the Associate Professor of Homeland Security at Rob Dunn University in the UAE. He joins me via Zoom from Abu Dhabi. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. for taking the time. Now, in the Indian Ocean, uh, Sri Lanka is sitting in the middle of India and uh, India, China and the United States. From time to time, the allegiance changes. Uh, right now, the economy dictates that we need all three. Now, Dr. in your opinion, how should Sri Lanka shape its foreign policy? Do you think uh, these non-aligned stance would work uh, to the benefit of this country? Well, Mahesh, thank you for, for that. It's a very important question. Uh, first of all, I, I would just quibble with the term a little bit, non-aligned. That, that's an old Cold War term. Uh, but what I think is more appropriate now is for many nations are looking at to create as many partnerships uh, as they can. And they're not always going to overlap with uh, every country's political or geostrategic interests all the time. But as any nation will, Sri Lanka will have to look at what is in its best interest. Uh, is it, there may be political reasons or geostrategic reasons, there may be economic reasons. And to, for a nation to have the maximum flexibility uh, that is allowed by A, being able to sort of uh, entice various, various actors to give uh, Sri Lanka the best deal it can, but also it gives it maximum flexibility. And it's, it will be able to potentially avoid some problems if uh, a conflict or tension breaks out amongst two or more of the, uh, of the parties. But it also positions them potentially to be uh, an open and uh, accepting nation where they might be able to use that and use the good offices of being able to be friendly and cooperating in a variety of fashions with all nations uh, to be able to maximize its potential, not only economically, but politically. Absolutely. Um... All right, we had to leave it at that. Uh, Dr. John Harrison uh, from Rob Dan University in the UAE. Thank you very much. Short break now. We'll be right back with the closing.